Sean Sewell with InGearMit.com. And I have before you the Allbirds Wool Runner on your right and the Tree Runner on your left. I have detailed reviews on both and they're both awesome shoes, but I'm gonna go into what are the similarities and what are the differences and what might be right for you in this review. So let's get into it. Okay, the Wool Runner, as the name suggests, is made of wool. The entirety of the shoe, the upper, is merino wool, which I am an absolute huge fan of merino wool, as you know from the thousand plus videos we have on this channel. Wearing wool right now, every layer I have is wool. So I'm a big fan of these wool runners. You have a wool topped insole, caster bean on the bottom, wool topped on top. So you can wear them with or without socks, very comfortable. Um, I find wool to regulate temperature really, really well. Some people might think that it runs warm, um, keep, you know, keeping you warmer, and it certainly could. Um, I have used these in temperatures uh, 20 degrees Fahrenheit to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Been good to go with or without socks. But they do market these as their warmer alternative for their everyday shoe. Wool runner. The tree runner on the other foot is eucalyptus material. As you can see, this one is the wool fuzzy. This is a woven eucalyptus uh, tensile. So it, on paper and also probably in real world, breathes even more than the wool. So this is marketed as their warmer weather feet or shoe to keep your feet um, cooler. And again, you can wear it with or without socks. Similarities are it has that exact same caster bean, wool topped insole that I think is one of the best out of the box. Again, if you want more arch support for these shoes, replace them with your orthotic or whatever you use to gather that arch support. But for most people out of the box, the insole provided with these shoes will be very sufficient. So it is the same aesthetic and design, the same uh, sweet foam ins uh, midsole, same traction, same amount of eyelets, made from recycled water bottles. Pretty much everything is if not very, very similar, it's the same. They're both runners, wool, and tree. Again, tree is tensile eucalyptus tree. And um, if I could get light to come through from this direction towards you, you would see the little perforations in here. So making it more breathable. And they're both the same amount of uh, stability, comfort, um, insoles, and midsoles. The only differences are, besides it being tensile, and so, you know, keeping your feet cooler is the sizing. The tree runners, I sized down. This is a size 11, and this is a size 12. So I sized up for the wool runner. Again, on the website, I find the chart accurate. I'm an 11 and a half men's. The 12 in the wool fits, and the 11 in the tree runner fits my foot very, very well. And then one other thing I've noticed is this tensile material seems to have less give. It has plenty of give to keep comfortable, but I find that the wool has slightly more give, if that makes sense. So hopefully see my, my hand in here shows you how much give there is. 5% more, 10% more, I don't know. But as a tester, I'm, I'm trying to give you as much details as possible so you can see. I find if I'm going barefoot and I want the most snug fit and I'm going to be in warmer weather, the tree runner would be my first choice. If I'm gonna be in cooler weather and I want a slightly looser fit, not like sloppy loose, but just a slightly looser fit, then the wool runner would be my choice. Price-wise, they're very similar. 110 for the wool runner, 105 for the tree runner. Fair price for how eco-friendly and well-built these are. I'll put links below where to purchase. And uh, there's also stores across the world. So if you're looking at to have a store close to you, go try them on and then thank me later when you buy a pair. Um, if you wanna see more videos like this of comparison between products, subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's the best way to keep up to date on that. If you found this helpful, a thumbs up would be appreciated. And if you do have any questions on these, put them in the comments below and I'll get right back to you. I'm Sean Sewell, owner and director of Stoke for InGearMint.com. And until next time, take care.